Well, voters in Texas will see more than 200 bond elections across the state. And Henrietta School District voters are seeing two this May election. Dylan Jimenez spoke with the superintendent about the props. So Dylan, voters are deciding on the possibility of a new high school. That's right, Carney. Prop A is a $35 million bond cost for the new high school. Superintendent Jamie Clark says Prop B is about safety when it comes to aiming to update athletic facilities. It really addresses the needs that we have with our junior high right now. The nearly century old Henrietta Junior High could soon be used for alternate district use and community events if voters pass a $35 million bond for a new high school. We had to address um, something with that building fairly quickly. The potential new school will be two stories and fit between the football stadium and current high school. If passed, the high school would then serve as the junior high. Our elementary growing at times and needing uh, more room, needing additional classrooms and stuff like that. And so by putting the junior high in there where there's only three grade levels instead of four, like what we have now in the high school, it allows that flexibility for the elementary. According to first year superintendent Jamie Clark, the new high school would include an additional 20 classrooms, updated science labs, in CTE workforce readiness spaces. <laughs> Prop B, a million dollar bond, is for athletic upgrades. Turf temperature hit 150 on Friday nights, almost postponing games. This bond allows turf updates, bleachers, and track resurfacing. But sounds more than a million dollars, right? Our plan is, is to take some money that we have in our fund balance and pair it with that million to work on all of those things. According to the bond info sheet, the 2023-2024 tax rate was the lowest in 19 years. The tax rate would increase 23 cents if passed. The $100,000 or less, you're not even paying school taxes. And in Henrietta alone, that's over 700 homes. There's a lot of reasons why we're looking to build, but we would like that building to be up here so we're all together. The bonds are now in the hands of Henrietta voters. Clark says there hasn't been any planning with architects yet as they wait to see what the voters decide. If it passes, it could be about seven months of planning. If Prop B passes, facilities will be ready by the fall, except for the bleachers. Wow, much to consider for Henrietta residents right now, that's for sure. Okay, Dylan, thank you so much for taking us there.